Hello, Simon Cole, Chief Constable, Leicestershire Police. Uh, time for the weekly vlog. I'm stood in front of this very nice banner which is about assaults on officers and staff. Again, over the weekend, a couple of officers assaulted each day, uh, people arrested for all of them, and uh, in recent weeks you'll have seen the new emergency services workers assault legislation being used uh, by the magistrates in Leicester, and the first time they used it, they sent someone to prison. Um, very keen that we do what we can to protect officers and staff. We will take any assaults on them very, very seriously indeed. That's what we do with Unison and the Federation. So the banner is here for a purpose, that's to remind colleagues of that work. Uh, it's a shame that we have to do that. Other things, uh, firstly I should comment on the prison sentences for Operation Dove, which is the Hinkley Road explosion. Our thoughts very much with the families who've lost loved ones. Uh, 38 years sentences uh, indicates the severity uh, of those offences uh, and indicates the fact that they were pretty remorseless uh, and grim offences carried out for personal gain. Uh, I'm very proud of the investigation team and everybody from the force who was involved in responding to that and everybody from the wider partnership across the city and the county as well who were involved. Last week was Chief Constable's Council, it was in Birmingham. Uh, it was right in the middle of the first place I ever foot patrolled actually up by Birmingham Refugee Theatre. Uh, a big heavy day or uh, two days actually of meetings including uh, with the DPP, uh, the new DPP that is, uh, looking at budgets, looking at air support, uh, looking at online crime, uh, a huge agenda and hopefully we help take things forwards. And lastly, and uh, as perhaps a counterpoint to everything that's gone before, uh, really pleased that we've had not one, not two, but three uh, uh, female colleagues selected to play for the British Police Women's Basketball Team. Uh, and they're in the wider squad that can go forward for the European Championships in 2020. Not guaranteed selection for that, but congratulations to all three. Uh, so that means we've got three women in the British Police Rugby team and three women in the British Police Basketball team, um, quite often in their own time as well. So huge commitment from them and a significant sporting achievement. Thank you.